Hey, hello folks and welcome to DDK and Dave. See what happens to little rockets on a breezy day um, with D-motors. What do we reckon is going to happen, buddy? Well, I reckon we're going to get some serious altitude, but it's just a question of whether we'll ever see them again. That's the issue. Um, we're anticipating going off into this direction. Uh, so you should be getting between a gap over there. So it should be all right. It was supposed to be less windy today, but it isn't. But we thought, well, we'd do it anyway. It could be entertaining. And uh, yeah, it's going to be pretty uh, awesome. And I'm going to show you guys exactly what modes we're going to be using. Right, folks, so here we are. Something a bit special that I've been quite excited about for some time. These are the rocket motors from a German company called Klima. Now, what makes these special is, as you can see at the bottom here, they're exactly the same size as an Estes C67, except if I hold this up, you'll be able to see uh, that this is a D97. Yes, that's right. A D, the same size, as a C67. Uh, so there's the motor you can see here, that's the nozzle end and then there's the ejection end, so very much the same as an Estes motor except for these are D power. Now D's go all the way up to 20 newton seconds and to give you an idea of just how potent these D's are they're 19 and a half newton seconds, so one more newton second and these would be an E so uh, yeah, here's the packaging, this is what they, uh, they come in, and if I turn it over, hit six in the pack, you can see the thrust graph there, and uh, yeah, they're going to be absolutely insane in a rocket, say for example, the size of Banshee, uh, which you can see here. So yeah, pretty small rocket, but uh, that D97 will fit in there absolutely beautifully, right up the, uh, the bottom. And man, it will go so high and so fast, it'll be insane. That's not to mention all the other little rockets I've got that use these. So yeah, guys, if you're interested in some pretty awesome new flight profiles for your little rockets, do check out these uh, Klima motors. They're absolutely fantastic. Uh, what I've got over here is the igniters. These are the electric ones, uh, which are sold separately. So it is slightly more expensive, but um, <laughs> I'm sure it'll be worth it when uh, we see the performance that we're going to get. So without further delay, let's have some fun with these. Rakuten motor, made in Germany. Type D97. Yeah, they're going to go pretty well. So look, these are the igniters, buddy. I don't know whether you've um, had a real chance to look at them. I haven't really. Oh, they're the fancy ones. Yet. Well, they're Ooh. kind of diff um, similar to the Estes ones, but you can't swap them over. Ah, um, okay. So you have to use these specific ones. But yeah, look at well. Let's have a look how they look. Awesome. Let's um, put one in the back of this. That's, they're that pretty much the same size as the normal well, they are. Estes they're, motors. They're exactly the same size. They're red. Exactly. Indicating danger. Yeah. <laughs> So there you go folks, these are the ignites that you use. As you can see they're a bit different to the Estes ones, but um, yeah, we'll try them out. They look quite classy. <laughs> they do. <laughs> they do. Awesome. Let's see what happens. So there you go guys, that's what one of the little uh, plugs look like. They're the equivalent of the pink Estes ones you get. So, uh, go folks that's um, that's what it looks like when it's all been put in the bottom so let's do it awesome so it's all set up on the pad linked up we'll send it into the sky let me know when you're uh, clear buddy and I'll plug it in okay Good, hang on. Yeah, I'm good. And we have continuity metalizer going on a D motor in 
five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Whoa, I've lost sight of it. Where did it go? Oh, there it is, there it is, there oh, it is. I can see it, yeah, I can see Where the, the silver. I'm going to start walking. Yep. I, I would start running, maybe. <laughs> down here! Oh, <laughs> yes, down. Down. <laughs> Keep an eye on where it goes. <laughs> Keep an eye on where it goes. Keep an eye on where it goes. It's going to scare away the sheep. No, it was it was short of the trees. That's good. Success. It landed on a sheep. Success. No, it didn't land on the sheep. <laughs> okay, folks. So that was an awesome flight on a demo to there. Uh, as I say, one more Newton second and it would be an E. So <laughs> some pretty awesome numbers. Normally, this rocket does a little over 100 miles an hour and a little over 500 feet. On this motor, we managed to get 232 miles an hour and 1,171 feet. No way, so really. So basically over double what we normally get. <laughs> so uh, yeah, they're worth it. Let's have some more fun. <laughs> so, mate, what's the plan next? Well, the plan is that I'm probably never going to see this rocket again. Um, pretty sure we didn't bother painting it. <laughs> it's called the Wizard. Um, it weighs literally nothing and we're putting one of these oh, motors <laughs> i'm going for a zoom shot oh i mean that is minimum diameter to the extreme yeah these uh, boys at the old uh ldra they don't rock it quite like we rock it <laughs> actually what's that ldra ldrs the <laughs> ldra that's like something else entirely awesome i will be back for this so here it is on the launch pad. DDK is saying his farewells. Because even if we get it back, we reckon it's probably going to shred. Yeah, I mean, there's a high likelihood of that. <laughs> there's a very high likelihood. I mean, what, 500 miles an hour? <laughs> Something like that? <laughs> that sort of range. I'd love to calculate the thrust to weight ratio. <laughs> oh man, you could, but it would just be better to look at it and watch it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is going to be going stratospheric and it's coming up next on Max Lost RC. Go for it on you, mate. Yeah, it's all ready to go. Right, good continuity. We all ready? Five, four, three, two, one. So it would appear our predictions came true. It went really fast and really high. And we've had this issue before. DDK went for a random walk and found it. So he's trying the same tactic again, but uh, it was probably the end. Awesome to watch though. <laughs> oh, DDK looks sad. Why do you look sad, buddy? I didn't find my rocket. Oh. Yeah, and it wasn't a surprise really. I don't know how high it got. We'll never know, but... Um... It was high. It was very high. And it was fast. There is one theory actually the that um, it actually blew itself to pieces when the ejection charge. That's uh, what we think. It looked like there was a big puff of smoke going outwards rather than upwards, as you'd hope, with the ejection charge. But yeah, it was um, it was it was an admiral goodbye. It was. It was. It was and a very Viking funeral. <laughs> yeah. <special laughs> it was. And now we've got something else. Um, Banshee, which some of you may be familiar with, is about to have its go on a demotor. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. Again, it's sure to be epic. I'm not willing to gamble my altimeter in this one, so um, we'll just have to guess. But needless to say, it'll be high. <laughs> right. We might see Banshee again, we might not. But we'll, uh, we'll see what happens. Right. We have continuity. And we are launching Banshee on a demotor in five, four, three, two, one. See ya. Oh, that looks like a shred. It was circling. <laughs> that looks like a shred. 
Oh. Oh. Parachute. I can see it. I can see it. It's coming with the smoke, so that's quite useful, actually. Do you want me to come run with you? Uh, you can do. Shall At the moment, though, if I... Shall I put this down? Oh, sorry, what? mate. I, I just walked in. <laughs> right, I'm going to put this down. I've just lost it. It literally just dis disappeared. Okay, folks, so we went out, we had the look for Banshee, and uh, as we thought it may, it disappeared. It did look as if it shredded as well. So I'm going to send Metalizer up one more time. You can see Nat's heading out there as part of the recovery team. And then uh, somewhere over here, amongst all these sheep, oh, there he is, is DDK waiting to uh, recover the rocket. So we're going to give it one more go with the Metalizer. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, folks, so here we are. Another launch with the Metalizer. Since it did so well last time, we've got our recovery team in place and we're ready to go in five, four, three, two, one, launch. In a big way. So it's come down over there and the recovery team are on the way. Sweet. So here they come, the triumphant recovery team with the metalizer in hand. A beautiful job. We were planning on uh, sending Phantom Blue up, but it's a bit breezy today. So that's gonna be saved for another day. Hopefully we got some uh, good footage of the rockets going up. <laughs> there it is. But uh, nonetheless, they went really high, really fast, just as we thought, and we had a great time. So that is it from Max Thrust RC for today, and I hope you stay tuned and look forward to some more videos. Thank you very much for watching, guys. See ya.